Next on the list is a discussion on blogging. There is an idea that's been out for a long time. Get a website, get a blog, set up a blog, start to do articles, and clients will flock to you. There is an inherent problem with that idea. There's nothing wrong with it if you have an audience. If you've got lots of prospective people out there that are searching for you and you can use this blog and you can link it on your website, great. But most of the time that isn't the case. You haven't set up your website correctly with the proper SEO search engine optimization as I've talked about in this section here. One of the things that can really make a difference is to do research on the keywords that you can actually get on the front page of Google with. This is something that eludes most people. They'll do a lot of different blog posts and nothing gets any traction. Part of the problem is if other people in your area have done their SEO, other attorneys, and they've got blog posts and they do the same kind of law that you're doing, people are searching for, let's say, Denver personal injury attorney or Denver real estate attorney, it's going to be difficult for you to get on the first page of Google because other people have done it. They have a lot of backlinks, which is what the juice for Google. Google likes backlinks and all kinds of various criteria, but there are ways to get in through the back door, as you might want to say. And that is to do some research with someone that knows what they're doing. And this is something that I don't want you to spend a lot of time doing blog posts if you don't do this research first and foremost. But there's some softwares out there that you can go in and you can put key strings, keyword strings in. And you can see how many searches a month there are for that keyword string, if it's worth writing an article about it, what the variations are, and see what the possibility of getting on the front page, first page of Google with that string. See, the thing that I've realized is that I could be writing articles on lawyer marketing all day long, but if I wasn't ranking for keywords in this article, I mean, if you look at this article, I've done the research on what people are searching for, and you found me because you searched for one of the keyword strings that I've got in this article. But I couldn't have ranked for one of the major articles where all the big boys have the articles and I'm never going to get there. I never get on the front page no matter how long I live. I don't have the kind of clout that above the law and some of these big web websites have, but it's okay. Because the fact of the matter is you can get some leverage on your blog and get the SEO juice if you do some research. There are people that know how to do this. I know how to do this and I'll be doing some further articles on this and stuff. There's probably a course I'm gonna do on SEO for lawyers. I haven't decided on that yet, but regardless, there is opportunities for you to do blog posts that actually work and get you traffic from Google for free. You don't even have to do ads on it, but there's gotta be a bit, of, there is a bit of learning curve, and I don't want you to worry about learning curves. There is information out there, and people know, know what they're doing. So before you spend a lot of time on blogging, and if you've already spent a lot of time on blogging, you may want to try to figure this out because this is something that took me years to figure out and a lot of money in online workshops and consultants and stuff like that, but it can work. So I hope this helps you. In the next article, we're going to talk about networking. It's a very good way to increase your bottom line and to get more clients in the door. So keep reading, keep learning, take some notes. I hope you're getting a lot out of this. If you got any feedback, send me an email. There's a contact form down uh, below. If you go to esquireacademy.com slash contact, get in touch with me. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you learning. You're a kindred spirit, and I wish you the best.